All right, guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are having a good one. So today, me and Para, we are out here trying to get some floundering stuff for you guys, show you some different techniques and stuff. So yeah, y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, so today we are using Fish Bites Fight Club, five inch, 30 boxers. These lures are really great because they release scent and they're biodegradable. And best of all, they're made right here in the state of Florida. And we also got them rigged up with the Fight Club Jig Heads. These Jig Heads are really good because they stay sharp and they're really strong. All right guys, so we just pulled it to our first spot. And when you're looking for a flounder, you want to look for sandy bottoms. You want to fish around structures like docks, feeder creeks, oyster beds, rock piles, grass lines, things of that nature. And when you work your bait, you always want to be in contact with the bottom. See, when I work a dirty boxer, I like to dirt, like twitch it a lot, you know? Make, yeah, it's different from the, the buck chick, I just drag it. This one, I kind of hop it, bounce it. But it's kind of like you can work it any way you want. I like the cats right next to the docks and stuff because they like to lay on the bottom and ambush bait fish. Slowly drag it and bounce it on the bottom. Look for small feeder creeks like this one because they provide good ambush points for flounder. parallel to this dock. Try to bring it back, hopefully I don't get hung up. Let it hit the bottom. Retrieve slowly, bounce it back. After a dozen or so casts with no bites, we decided to move up river. Spots after spots. The fishing was slow, probably when we had a tropical storm a couple days ago, so we decided to keep on moving. So we made it all the way out to Mayport, and when you're working these dirty boxers, the scent really helps a lot, especially after the storm when the water's all turned up. And when you're feeling for a flounder bite, it's usually a tap, 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 or a thump. Once you feel that, don't set the hook immediately. Wait a couple of seconds, lift your rod tip up, and when you feel that weight, then set the hook. Here's a good example. Got one. Little one, probably. Ooh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Unfortunately, Sorry. these flounder are notorious for spitting the hook out <laughs> by the boat. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. That shit inhaled it. Oh my god, dude. Look, that's two. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And this area here has a lot of structure, especially submerged rocks. So whatever your captain tell you to do, you do it. So I cast my dirty boxer back out there and retrieve it slowly. And man, he was right. Yeah. There you go, that's 
Oh, oh little baby in a way. Little baby. Dirty boxer. That's a dirty boxer platy. Good job, bro. Check it out. Yep. <laughs> Too small. Okay. If you should run heavy structure like this, you're gonna lose a lot of tackle. So be prepared to retie. Look at the color on this. Woo. That's your May Ford Flatty. Yeah, beauty. Not a nice fish. Damn. That dirty box there, baby. See that? They love that thing. Fish bites. Nice. So we moved down a little bit more and bro got another one. Unfortunately, his GoPro froze up on him. It didn't work. But believe it or not, this is two feet of water. And there's a lot of submerged rocks right here in this area. This flounder turned out to be the biggest one of the day. These fishes nice. love the dirty boxer from the scent to the curly tail. Fishing was tough, but we made it happen. On to the next. 